Um, I'm Brian Armstrong. If you see the screaming cat on Gitter, that's me. Um, I did a Google image search one day and thought it was really funny, so I picked it. Um, I also run Flutter Institute. I have about four times as many followers on that Twitter account than my personal Twitter account, which is kind of fun. Um, so let's talk about sorting today. Sorting is one of those hard problems that a lot of really smart people have spent a lot of hard time like figuring it out. Um, I did a quick search and Wikipedia has 11 different algorithms for sorting based on how big it is and how fast you want it and a bunch of different things that you have to figure out if you want to use a good sorting algorithm. So sorting in Dart, I think some smart people did the work for us and it's a hybrid of two algorithms. If you have less than 33 elements in your list and someone did math to figure this out, then it uses an insertion sort to be more optimal. Yeah, otherwise, it uses what's called a dual pivot quick sort, which I didn't actually know was a thing until I did this talk. Problem is, all of these best case are big O and log N, which just, you know, isn't, isn't quite fast enough because we can do better and we can make it big O N because Dart is the future. <laughs> so, we have some caveats. First, you shouldn't do this in real time. Futures are asynchronous. So we don't care, you know, the user shouldn't be waiting on it for the app to respond or anything. So just put it in the background and let it happen. Um, second, I only designed this to work for integers. Um, we could change that, but right now it's just, it's just simple. And try to keep them generally small. You know, anything that gets in the, you know, the many tens of thousands will probably not be very useful. So here, at long last, is the algorithm. You'll notice that <laughs> We're, we're sorting everything and we're just, we're just waiting with a duration. So we, we'd start our future and we'd delay it. And we d I, did, I did a lot of research <laughs> to determine the correct number of milliseconds to pad this with to make this work. So we pad it with 10 milliseconds and then we just add the integer to that. So it just waits. And when the, when the future finally completes, then it adds them to the list and it adds them to the list in the correct order. So this only sorts from smallest to biggest. And, that's okay. Um, and we use milliseconds because microseconds are just too fast. So we just, <laughs> we just, just keep it simple. You know, we don't care about when the user you know, gets it back because it's, it's asynchronous. But you'll notice we only go over the list once. So we've got big O in. <laughs> that is kind of small. So I actually made a demo. You can run this in Dart pad because it only has one dependency on Dart async. And it's already been run, but you can see I went up to my largest number was 1,354. It's item three in the list. So if we run it, it takes a minute. And then, oh man, there we go. There's my output. And it sorts the list, big O-N. Thank you very much. Yeah.